Wasi 2020 Elective Mathematics Question 10A Differentiate y is equal to 3x over 1 plus x squared with respect to x. So this is the function given to us, a rational function. And you can decide to write it as a product and differentiate. Or you can also apply the quotient rule as it is. So as of now, the quotient rule is given by dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. That is when we let u to be 3x and v to be equal to 1 plus x squared. Now we find the u dx and the v dx. So the u dx we differentiate u with, with respect to x we get 3. Then we differentiate v with respect to x we get 2x. So we just substitute this, this, this and this into the formula for dy dx. And that will give us dy dx to be equal to 1 plus x squared times 3 minus 3x all into 2x then all divided by 1 plus x squared all squared so we are done with the calculus the rest is algebra so let us do the algebra here so we multiply we multiply this by this and this by this to get 3x squared plus 3. When you expand this, we get 3x squared plus 3 minus 6x squared. Then all over 1 plus x squared, all squared. So if we simplify this, 3x squared minus 6x squared will give us negative 3x squared. Then we are left with a 3. We can leave our answer like this. Or uh, if you decide to expand the denominator, then your answer becomes something like this. Uh -huh. So let's proceed to the B part of the question. Find the equation of the circle that passes through 2, 3, 4, 2, and 1, 11. So, we have other ways you can do this. Yeah, but I'm going to use only one approach here. So, we let the equation of the circle be x squared plus y squared plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to 0. This is the general form of the equation of the circle. So, since these points are lying on the circle, they must satisfy the equation of this circle. Each of them must satisfy the equation. So, let's take the first one. When x equal to 2, y is equal to 3. Substitute into this equation. And we get this. So, whenever we see x, we put 2. And whenever we see y, we put 3. So that is what we just did over here. Now we solve this. We simplify this. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. And that will give us 4 g 6 f plus c is equal to 0. We simplify further. 4 plus 9 is 13. So we get our first equation to be 4g plus 6f plus c equal negative 13. We are writing it in the standard form so that we can solve equations easily. Now, 
we are done with the first point let's go to the second point when x equal 4 y is equal to 2 so similarly this point must also satisfy this equation so we plug in 4 2 so whenever we see x we put 4 in this equation whenever we see y we put 2 2 here 2 here 2 here and 2 here and that's what we had so we simplify and this will give us another equation 2 8g plus 4f plus c is equal to negative 20 and what next the second the, the last point 1 and 11 so when x is equal to 1 y will be 11 so let's plug it inside we get 1 squared plus 11 squared 2g times 1 2f times 11 plus c is equal to 0 now we need to simplify this 1 square is 1 11 square is 122 this will give us 2g and this will give us 11 22f plus c equals 0 so we got another equation a third equation now we need to solve three three equations simultaneously how do you go about that let us try to eliminate the c because it is having the coefficient of one throughout so what we are going to do is that we take this equation subtract this from it subtract this from it then the c's will go away so let's do that equation 2 this equation minus equation 1 so we get 8g minus 4g that will give us 4g then 4f minus 6f will give us negative 2f negative 20 minus minus 13 will give us negative 7f so we can we want to make the coefficient of f1 or negative 1 so we divide 2 by 2 to get the equation 4 now the reason why we made it 1 is that we want to make the solution the elimination easy and the next thing we do now is to subtract this equation from this so equation 2 minus equation 3 so 8g minus 2g will give us 6g then 4f minus 22 will give us negative 18f c minus c will be 0 negative 20 minus minus 122 will give us 102 so we got another equation that we divided through by negative 2 negative 3 uh -huh. and divided through by negative 3 so that we get this over here we get 2g okay 2g so we should have only left that okay so we divided through by 3 to get negative 3 to get this so that we can easily eliminate good so in actual fact the reason why we divided through by 2 here is to make sure that we get 2 and 2 here so that we can eliminate so right now when we add 2 gene and negative 2 gene we can we can get the gene out so that we get equation 4 plus 5 will give us 5f equal negative 37.5 so this and this will give us this this and this will give us this so we can divide through by 5 to get f to be negative 7.5 now let's move on to the finding g since we know that g we know f to be negative 7.5 we can substitute into one of the equations and we solve for g to get g to be negative 5.5 now we can substitute g and f into another equation let's say equation 2 and we solve for c so g here f here that will mean that 
c is equal to negative 20 plus 44 plus so this will give us 30 so it's not 44 um, it will give us 30 it will give us negative 30 so this thing here yes, will be plus 30 so negative 20 plus 30 plus 44 will give us 54 so it means that our c is 54. Now we can substitute all this into can substitute c equal 54, g equal negative 5.5, and f equal negative 7.5 into this equation, the general equation, to get something like this. And if we simplify this, will give us a negative 11. This will give us negative 15. So the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared minus 11x minus 15y plus 54 is equal to 0. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.